Greetings, viewers. Welcome back to our journey to the Nilf Guardian garrison that Yen has been spotted at. While me and Lambert were consuming the treats that the older lady bestowed upon us, Zoltan went to discuss to Willis. Any additional information on this location as Lambert continues to trek through the murderous landscape that is deemed White Orchard. The garrison structure story should draw from it. is actually a quite sad one, which fits the mood here. According to Willis, the lord that used to reign over White Orchard lived there with his son. However, inner turmoil began inside the home, which led to some banishments from the castle. Florian, the son of the lord, suddenly could not bear with the reality of one particular banishment and decided that he was going to take his life. After those events transpired, the Lord fell into alcoholism, and the structure became neglected. The Temerian army decided to use this defensible position to hold the Ismena River. But they fell in the Battle of White Orchard. Nilfgaard has held the fort since then. A reminder to never cross Nilfgaard. That story is quite tragic indeed. White Orchard is such an interesting place to be. I can definitely see the decaying of the structure, along with the smell of rotting wood and sweat. Seems they are well supplied as well. Thank you very much. Careful, Lambert. I understand that you are no fan of the Nilf Guardians, but they do have the numbers here. Plus, you have to know we must play nice to get the information we need. Since you started this fight, go ahead and end it quickly. I got this, Geralt. I'm not a mere baby that needs to be taught everything. If I am remembering correctly, you are the one who lost his memory and had to relearn swordsmanship and the signs. Sit still, old man. This will be over soon. I have lost more information about what means to be a Witcher than you have ever had in your measly soul, Lambert. Anyways, let's head up to the garrison before they decide to not let us in now. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. See, Geralt? The army nord. They respect me the for what I did out there. Easy. I bet I could to steal again, and Go. they wouldn't even try to stop me. I wouldn't do it, Lambert. Nilfgaard often does not show grace toward others. You will be slaughtered on sight. Absolutely, Zoltan. I have seen thieves have their hands chopped off for stealing, and those were the lucky ones. Honestly, I see no problems with grabbing a few things here and there, but do not overdo it. Lambert. No, don't do it. Haha, ha, too late, old man. Let's do this, sun-covered peasants. Come meet your maker. Great moves, Lambert. You may have condemned yourself to a death, but at least you can do a few spin attacks to look stylish as your chest meets the sharp blade of the Empire. These fools cannot stop me! Come meet your end against my blade! This is for Cohen. May your deaths be painful and unswift. Get up, you fool. This is not how you go out. Wake up, your friends need you. I'm getting up. Who the hell are you? Thank Melitoli you are awake, Lambert. We thought we were going to throw a party for your death. But I guess we will have to wait another day. Geralt is in control now. Mm -hmm. And may I add that I am 1,000 crowns richer as well. It pays well listening to advice. Lambert, are you okay? You look like you just seen a wraith in the mirror. I honestly have no clue. Let's talk to this Nilf Guardian and get out of here. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? 
These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. I'm the largest dwarf to ever grace this earth, mere mortal. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. Good one, Geralt. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died, look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mizlov. Thanks. This... I want you to watch this. I can handle myself, so I can afford to take a look in this mere chest here. Come on, you pieces of filth. Hate to be on the opposing side of this eye, Lambert. You seem quite ill. Have you not recovered from the thrashing that these guards gave you? Zoltan, I don't know what I saw as I laid out across the ground, bleeding from the deep slashes these morons made. It was like I died. But this is all a collection of dreams. However, I heard something yelling at me to get up, in an all yet familiar, yet different voice. Anyways, I have to do some serious monster hunting to get all these crowns for Geralt. Uh, you like that silver.
That's why they call me the Butcher of Blaviken. Zoltan, did Willis pass on any information about the captain of that garrison? He did. The Capitan's name is Peter Sar Gwynliv, who was stationed in the garrison to be the head authority. Willis was quite appreciative on his will of being fair in trade, orders, and being from a humble beginning when describing how he has undergone the transitional period after the Third Northern War. Temeria has not made it easy, though. Mm-hmm. I bet so. Roach probably had a lot to do with it, too. All righty. Let's get this fun little expedition out of the way. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But... I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. A sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Oh, wow. Another winner of a contract here, Geralt. Based upon the look of those britches, you might get five crowns Fine. from him. I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought, but I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. A lot of bodies to search through in this battlefield. As the war was quite ugly for the locals, they were literally the lambs that were led to the slaughter of the Black Sun. Anyways, Geralt, I wonder if we will get to see Vesemir in action again. It will be like turning back the clock on all these years. I am really curious to see how he does with a banged up shoulder. Something tells me he has some fight in the old Oh, absolutely. It was one of the last few fights that I was able to have against a creature with him. It will be a fun display of the school's leader. I definitely wouldn't have wanted to be on the opposing side of that blade. There was a reason that he was the mere survivor when Kaer Morhen was ambushed. Carve those ghouls like they were a sweet roll. I imagine fighting those monstrosities must be almost nothing for you. After all the various things that you have faced. See, Zoltan, that's where you are particularly wrong. As a Witcher, you have to respect any kind of monster, no matter how high or low. Because if you let one surprise you, you could be closer to death than you realize. There has been plenty of times that a lower being such as a necrophage has had me close to death. So you must treat them all the same, as hard as that is to do. But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first... Want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No! He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as... 
as he crawled across the battlefield, his legs twisted. And so we were. Blind man leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blackened stays here. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our Pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you. Twenty-five crowns. What a reward. Anyways, Geralt, I believe that this is a great place to stop our journey. The action is slowly ramping up, so make sure to stay tuned and like the video. I really cannot wait to see what the rest of White Orchard has in store for us. I need to place some Gwent in the nearest inn so I can attempt to pay some of these crowns I owe now. Let's head out, Zoltan.